Last night I dreamed a bunch of cows burned my house down. It was an utter nightmare. <laughs> Anyways, today we're learning how to play Hello, Goodbye by the Beatles. This is a goofy one. Should be fun. There are a few spots in this song where the sum of what all the swirling instruments are doing is a little bit ambiguous and one or the other thing could have been chosen. In those instances, I made the choice that jives with me and perhaps it jives with you, but that said, this goofy song starts with a goofy chord. It's D minor. <laughs> But notice D minor has an F note in it, and this D minor chord in particular is D minor with an F in the bass. So you've got E1, B3, G2, and D3. Instead of having a D minor with two Ds in it, we've got a D minor with one D in it and two Fs. D minor with an F in the bass. So, we'll just call it D minor. D minor, C, Seven, A minor, G or G7, I like G, A minor, G of your choice again, and that's where they say you say goodbye, I say hello, but I want to say some more things about those first seven measures first. I don't know if it's tape warble on the keyboard track or if this was done on purpose, but has anyone else noticed that it sounds like the following happens in the very first measure of the song? If you bar three strings, not two, with your pointer finger and then make your special D minor chord, take your pointer finger off the G string so the G string goes two, one, two, turning it for just a moment into an F minor chord of sorts. Like I said, I don't know if that's, again, tape warble or on purpose, but it, you can do it if you want. I want. And along that theme, this does not happen on the track, but we can do the same thing, relatively speaking, to the C chord. Reach for B4 and back to open E. First one. C chord. On the G7 chord, this does happen. Then, if you want to be fancy McAllister pants and incorporate the bass walk into your A minor measure, you can. Into the G chord. Strum your A minor chord, but maybe just strum to the G string, because that's the A note that starts the bass walk. So G2, including the rest of the strum. Open D string, three, two, open A string, three, two, slide into your G chord. And now I'll do the whole intro there my way for you. say goodbye, I say hello. G, G7, F, C. And now we've entered the section of the song where the chords only get two beats each, not four, and we're going to be doing a lot of walking down, and we're in the key of C. And whenever you're in the key of C and you're walking down, you almost always employ this chord, B1 and A2. Now this chord has a real name, it's something ridiculous like E minor 9 flat 11 or something, but no one means that when they play this chord. What they mean is walking down from C with a B note into A minor. This chord, you only ever play it in between C and A minor, so I call it the chord that comes in between C and A minor, but that's a lot of syllables, so let's just, even though this isn't exactly right, call it C with a B in the bass, for now. So, you say goodbye, I say a C, with a B in the bass, A minor, then G, or if you don't like the definitiveness of that G, you, I don't, you can play A minor 7 with a G in the bass, that from A minor is just take your ring finger and put it on the E string 3rd fret instead. <laughs> works really well here. Play it if you want, or play G if you like that better. You say goodbye, F, C, walking down, B in the bass, A minor, G 
four A minor seven F. I hope you played big F because now we're going up to G sharp. It's the big F shape on frets four, five, and six. You say goodbye. F, C, walking down, A minor, minor seven if you want, F, G sharp is the first half of that section. And then you do that whole routine again, starting on the C when you're going to start walking down, except this time the G sharp is a B flat. And you can play a B flat there, or if you like this shape, you can play the F shape on frets 6, 7, and 8. Either way. So, from the, let's do from the G sharp section. Then C, walking down, A minor, G or A minor 7, F, B flat, and C. If you're enjoying the walks, instead of playing C, you can do the C major scale from C to C. A3, D, O2, 3, G, O2, B, O, 1, and then you'd slide right back into your special D minor chord. So, F, B flat, A. lively to put some, you know, runs in there. And great news, this song is a loop. You do everything we just talked about like four or five times until you get to the last time, at which point when you do your F, B flat, into C, where we did the C scale, this time we're going to continue walking. It's going to be F, B flat, C, walking down, A minor, A minor 7, or G, F, sharp for a whole measure. Three, four. Now, this is the spot where the bass walks down chromatically. G sharp, G, F sharp, F, and they end on C. But I believe that it's not G sharp, two, three, four, G, rather C with a G in the bass, I think fits better. So play your C chord, but put your ring finger on the E string, third fret, pinky finger goes where the ring finger was, and now we have... F, B flat, here we go, C, walking down, A minor, G in the bass, F, G sharp, 2, 3, 4, C with a G in the bass, F sharp, F, C, and now we're into the kooky outro. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab C. That's our first beat. This is just one measure, over and over and over again. C. I'm going to bounce the bass note to G. That's C's fifth, so that works. Back to C, and then G7. So four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do that until you're sick of doing it. <laughs> well, that was weird. Sometimes I just wake up with a song in my head and it's too late. That's the song we're doing today. And today was that day and that was that song. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful. And I will see you next time with more stuff. That was a cat. Goodbye. <laughs>